What's going on, man? It's your big brother, Trend. You're tuned in again to another Divine video. Um, The Most High put this word on my heart to tell whoever watching this video um, this dream I had. Okay, I had a dream about the Great Tribulation or the Rapture. I had a dream about it. And I'm about to tell you what, what I seen in the dream. Okay, I'm not... <clears throat> If you don't know me, I'm not a biggest religious person ever. You know what I mean? I'm not a big Bible scholar or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't go around like a holy roller acting like, you know, I know everything about the end times or nothing. I just speak what's coming from my heart. Okay? But um, I'm going to tell y'all about this dream that I had. And what I want you to do is, like, comment below and let me know. Like what you think about the times that we living in right now And if you got Bible scriptures to go along with Like what I'm saying in this video Please back me up in the comment section If you know if you know exactly what I'm talking about When it comes down to the scriptures Okay Um. So anyway <clears throat> Y'all know right now About all the stuff that's going on In the Middle East Alright the, the tension and the wars and things that's going on in the Middle East, it just keep building up, it seems like. It just keep building up day by day by day by day. And we all know uh, in the Middle East, that's where the that's where the Bible and stuff really took place at. That's where all that's where it all happened. Over in Egypt, you know, where they have Iran and and, and uh, Israel and Jerusalem. All the whole the Bible really was based over there. Okay? Not here in America. Okay, if you stay in America. And so I think personally that's why so much stuff is brewing up over there is because the second coming of Christ is near. All right. Now you might have some people out there to say to me, no, you know, trend. I remember that one scripture was like, trend, there will be wars, there will be famines, but the time is not near, whatever, whatever, whatever. But you gotta keep in mind, it also do say that it will come like a thief in the night. All right. And I'm going to tell you something that I remember about a thief in the night. Do y'all remember what we just went through, right? COVID, right? Do y'all remember when it happened, what you was doing, where you was at? That was like a thief in the night moment for everybody. You feel me? I bet you can still remember what you was doing and where you was at when COVID struck, right? Now, you didn't even believe it, but it was like a worldwide event. And it was like, what? this cannot be true. This cannot be true. That's like a thief in the night experience. You feel me? And I know you remember everybody going outside, people being scared, people having a lot of anxiety. It was just everything was just like, what is going on? This cannot be real. Okay. Well, if you ask me, this is what I dreamt about. It was the same thing. It was the same thing I had a dream about that happened when COVID first hit. Okay. Um. So I remember I had a dream, right? In the, in the dream, I woke up out of this bed and I was looking on the TV and I seen this broadcast come across the screen, like this news headline broadcast came across the screen. And that was this man, I can't remember who it was. There was this man, this political man who was talking and he was giving a announcement on what is happening in the world. And he couldn't explain what was happening, but something bizarre had happened in the world and he was explaining and telling everybody to be calm, be quiet. We're gonna we're gonna figure out, you know, what what happened. Um, and I was I jumped up out the bed like, cause I thought it was real. I thought it was real life, but it was really a dream. And so I looked out the blinds in my bedroom, and I seen like fires and crashes on the highway. Like cars was going up in flames. Um, it was sirens blaring everywhere. Uh, and it was just like a catastrophe outside. Like, like it was cars weren't moving on the highway. It was all crashed. It was fire everywhere. And like I said, it was just a bunch of, bunch of ambulances and fire trucks going off in the background. And I looked out my other window that was in my room. When I looked out that window, I looked up at the sky. And when I looked up at the sky, I could see what appeared to be stars. They were shooting everywhere. Like. They wasn't shooting as fast as you see, like how you when you look at a shooting star today, it shoots really fast to the point you can't even see it. It's like in the blink of an eye. 
but these stars were shooting but they were moving like real slow and it was like millions of them moving like real slow going in all different directions all different directions all different directions and i'm like what the what is this and so i looked to another part of the sky and i seen this white strobe light it, it was not a strobe like it was it just kept flickering and beaming you know what i mean um it just this big white light it looked like a big moon and it was just beaming and beaming and beaming and beaming like a like a strobe light and it was really bright it was on another part of the sky and i was just like that's when it hit me in the dream i'm like oh my god i just missed i just missed the rapture that's what i was thinking like oh my god and i went in like a panic mode like a shock mode in the dream like like dang like it's ha it's happening right now i had missed the rapture or whatever and then i because i knew that's what it was because i'm a spiritual person you know i'm not religious but i'm spiritual i believe and so I woke up at the dream and I was shocked. Oh my God, it turned my day upside down. I was I was so scared and, and it, I mean, I was just astonished, man. I was just baffled, like, wow, I cannot believe this really happened. So um, saying that all to say, I don't know if that's how it's gonna happen, but all I know is the time is near. I can proudly say that. Look at all the stuff that's happening in the world. You see everything aligning up with the, with the Bible. You feel me? Earthquakes, tsunamis, wars, plagues, famines, wars on wars on wars, people hating, people killing people for no apparent reason, accidents, catastrophes, hurricanes, landslides. Everything is happening that is bad right now. Everything dysfunctional families you can't call on friends people hate you for no reason people hate you for being black people hate you for being white like people you know what i mean police corruption it's like crazy you got to be a fool not to know that you should be connecting yourself back with the most high at these times you got to be a fool or you just completely just dumb you know what i mean the end times prophecies are coming to pass and this world war three which i think is gonna be i really feel like if iran starts to bomb israel okay and they return fire back on israel you know israel is gonna return by fire back on iran you feel me then you still got the ukraine and russia you still you still got the russia and ukraine war still going on now united states is trying to talk to china and china trying to tell them uh trying to tell iran don't it's just crazy it's madness and the thing about it the people who they are killing don't have nothing to do with the big people that they have a problem like they need to fight their own wars don't y'all understand this people that is like dying over these wars it's not even the people that starting it it's not even the civil, uh, the civilians that start in it. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. It's sinister. This is the devil at work, trying to kill people, innocent children, innocent women, families with bombs, because these greedy, power-hungry people that's at the top, they got beef with each other from different countries, and they won't fight their own wars. They just sitting back eating they uh steak and, and sitting at their big tables and they big uh castles and stuff and they just fighting and blowing people up that ain't nothing but the devil bro that's nothing but the devil that's evil it's evil you know what i mean and you know what i'm saying it's like it's basically it's, it's kind of like good versus evil almost it's like we in a fight with good versus evil you know what i mean I don't even think half people, I don't even think people are even real no more sometimes. Sometimes I think some people are just evil, pure evil. And I think some people are just really good people. And it's like, you can't connect with evil people if you're a positive spiritual person no more. You can't, because you can't take it. They make you frustrated, you know what I mean? But anyway, World War III is on the verge of popping off. And, and honestly, I don't think that the most high would allow his chosen ones or his children to have to experience all of that. I don't think that we will be here if that was to happen any day now. I don't think it, he'll let it happen. I think everybody's gonna go up 
like in a whirlwind and it's going to be like in the blink of an eye, like a thief of the night. You know what I mean? And the people that are still left behind, if that is the case, they're going to wake up just like I did in that bed with that news press conference telling everybody they don't even know what happened to half of the earth that has disappeared. I mean, look, at they put it in the movie. They putting it in the movies now. Leave the world behind. Y'all seen that movie, Leave the World Behind? They putting this stuff in plain sight. This is complete deception by the enemy. This is what the enemy do. They show you what they doing, but they just put it on you if you don't understand what's going on or not. If you just an ignorant person and you're not picking up on things, then that's your fault. They don't, they, it's, the blood is not on their hands. They say it's on your hands. If you don't, if you get, you know what I mean? It's like they telling you. I could go on and on about this topic, but I just really want your opinion. Give this video a thumbs up if you think that we are in the times, the end times, all right? Are end times prophecies coming to pass? Speak up, let your voice be heard. This is an open conversation. If you got to leave two comments at the bottom, leave comments. Please pull the scriptures out so you can prove it. That's in the word that the things that are happening right now, Gog versus Magog, okay? Israel, okay? The Jewish community, Israel being under attack by Hamas, going to war with Gaza, going to war with Iran, Iran bombing and sending drones to Israel. China's getting involved. The war in Ukraine with Russia is still going on. The state of the economy of the American people is corrupted. Most people are financially disabled at this point that we I'm talking right now. If I'm not telling the truth, please speak up and let me know if you got some money. Let me know if you got some money. You feel me? Because I, pre I really don't know too many people out here who well off financially that's holy and, and, and spiritual people. Most of the people that got all the money nowadays is people that's doing the most sin because they showing it in plain sight now. It's crazy because we living in a time now where it's so bad that people are showing you who they worship. And if it's the opposite way, it's the other side or whatever, they showing you, yeah, I'm a part of this team. I'm a part of the, the devil side. I'm a, I am the devil. Like you got people literally walking around saying that right now. You can't tell me that they don't do that because I've been seeing it on TV. I've been hearing it in music videos. You've been hearing it. Comment below and let me know. Have you been seeing people just blatantly coming out and telling you that they worship Satan? <laughs> this is madness, y'all. This is crazy. But I'm not telling y'all this to fear. Have no fear. Because no weapon formed against you shall prosper. All I'm saying is now is the best time in the world to get healthy, to be vigilant, be sober. Because the devil is like a roaring lion seeking whomever he may devour. You got to be alert, okay? Get away from people who is not elevating you, okay? Stop talking to people who is not on your team. That's what, basically what I'm saying, who not on your side. All I'm saying is maybe these are not the end times. Maybe we still have another 2,000, 3,000 more years to go and you probably won't be here, all right? All I'm saying is these are the best times right now to shape up and fly right get your life together be more positive you know what i mean Spit, uh put out good energies you feel me get away from the old you evolve into the new you you feel me your greatest version be more happier laugh more have more fun you understand because like i said no matter what's going on over there in the world and all this stuff that's going on around us you already know that you are protected. Comment below and say, I am protected. All right? Nothing will happen to the chosen ones. Nothing will happen to you if you got good karma. And if you know you've been doing good by him, he's going to protect and he's going to preserve you. Okay? So, I don't know who this video was for, but I just wanted to tell you about that dream that I had. And um, I don't know if that's how the tribulation is going to come about, but I know if the tribulation... The great tribulation does happen or the rapture does happen in what we deem as the end times and these prophecies are coming to pass. Um, I think that all chaos is going to happen. All hell is going to break loose. All right. 
And that's when the enemy is really going to show who he is. And he's going to start bringing hell upon everybody. You know what I mean? And I hope that you're not that person that is here when that tribulation happens. Because it's written. Comment below and let me know what you think, man. It's your big brother train. If this video resonated with you, do me a favor. Subscribe to this channel because I got many more videos like this. Check out some other videos that I have also if this one like tickled your fancy. All right. If this video right here resonated with you and it vibrated with your soul, make sure you hit the subscribe button and make sure you check out some more videos that I have in the comment section at the top below. And also I have some other good things in the comment section too that you might want to purchase. Um, some really good archives, some especially the book of wisdom. If you into uh, advanced knowledge concerning the spirituality, I suggest you to get the book of wisdom. It's going to blow your mind. All right. So comment below. Let me know what you think. Give this video a thumbs up, man. It's your big brother, Trend Genius. I'll catch you on the other side. Peace.